I've spent years writing macros for complex tasks that Power Query can accomplish with just a few clicks. It's a life-changing feature of Excel that will save you a ton of time and it's easy to use. So in this video, we're going to automate five common Excel tasks, everything from combining files to replacing XLOOKUP. And at the end of the video, I'll share one of my favorite features of Power Query. So let's get to it. So in this first example, we're gonna automate a simple data preparation process. We get this CSV file from our vendor every day, and we need to clean it up to make it easier for the boss to read. So I have the instructions here for this cleanup, and of course, we're gonna use Power Query for this. So go to the Data tab on the ribbon, and over here in the Get and Transform Data section, we have the Power Query buttons. And right here, we're going to click from text or CSV because our data is in a CSV file. And then we'll navigate to the folder that contains the file, select it here, and click Import. And on this next screen, we're gonna click Transform Data, and that will open up the Power Query window. So this Power Query Editor window opens up on top of Excel, and in the window here, we have a preview of our data, along with a lot of buttons on the ribbon up here that we can use to transform the data. So our first step is to remove some of these shipping address columns. So I'm just gonna select this first column, I'll scroll over to the right here, hold Shift, select the last column, right-click, remove columns, or you can use the delete key on the keyboard, and that will remove those columns. Next, we wanna delete blank row. So you can see every 10th row in this data set is a blank row. The null value in Power Query represents a blank cell. And to do this, we can just go up to the Home tab here, Remove Rows, and then choose Remove Blank Rows, and that will get rid of all those blank rows. Now, it's important to note that Power Query isn't actually modifying our CSV file. It's not deleting columns or rows in the CSV file. It's just doing it here in memory in Power Query, and then we're gonna output this to Excel. And before we output this, the last step here is we want to sort the customer name column in ascending order. So I'll hit the filter dropdown here, Sort Ascending, that will sort our data. Now that all of our transformations are complete, we're gonna to go to the Home tab, click the Close and Load button. This is going to add a new sheet into the workbook and output our data into an Excel table. And when we get new data the next day, all we need to do is take that file and dump it into our existing folder. We'll go ahead and replace the file, and then we can jump over into Excel. We'll right-click this table here and choose Refresh. Keyboard shortcut is Alt F5. That's going to rerun the query, rerun all of those steps, and output the new data right here in the table. So this is what saves so much time with Power Query and makes it magical, is we don't have to do those steps every single day now. We fully automated the process. We can just dump the file in and refresh. Now, if you have nightmares about copying and pasting data in Excel, then you're going to love Power Query. For this next challenge, we're gonna combine a bunch of CSV files. So we have these 11 files from each store location here. And one way we could do this, of course, is just go uh, open each one of these files, select all the data, hit Control C to copy it, then go over to a master file and paste it in and so on. But that would take way too much time. So instead we're gonna use Power Query. And what we're gonna do is jump into the data tab of the ribbon here. And this time we're gonna to go to get data from file from folder. And then we'll browse for the folder that contains the data and click open. And that's going to show us a preview of the contents of the folder here, so all our CSV files. We're gonna go down here to combine and choose combine and transform data. And we'll say okay on this screen. And then the Power Query Editor window will open up and all of our data has com been combined into one long table. It's right here. At this point, we could do additional transformations if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna go up to the Home tab, hit close and load. That again will uh, create a new sheet in the workbook and output the result. And if a store sends in their data late, all we need to do is take their CSV file and drag it into the folder. Then we'll jump over to Excel, right-click the table and refresh. That will rerun the query and add the data to the bottom of the table. So th again, this saves a lot of time because we don't have to do those steps again. We can just refresh the query and data will be added or deleted. Next, we're gonna help out the HR department. So they have this list of employees and the events they've attended in this tags column and they're comma separated here. And they wanna know how many employees attended each event. So let's take a look at how we can use Power Query for this. We're gonna go to the data tab. Since our data is already an Excel table, we'll choose from table or range. That'll open up the Power Query editor window. And we're gonna select the tags column and Power Query has a really awesome feature here. So on the home tab, we have split column. We're gonna choose by delimiter. And then instead of comma, we actually have comma space as our delimiter. So we're gonna choose custom here. I'm gonna type comma and then space. 
we're gonna say at each occurrence of that delimiter, we'll do the split. And then under advanced options, we can split into rows. So this is awesome. So I'll hit okay here. And what that does is it actually takes each of those tags and creates a new row for it. So you can see we have duplicates here of the employee, but that's absolutely okay. Because the next step we're gonna do is take this tags column and we'll go to the group, uh, the home tab here, click group by. That'll open up this window. And what we're gonna do is group that to get the count of rows. And we'll just hit okay. And that's essentially going to create a summary report for again, the count of all the employees for each event. We can quickly sort this if we want to. Then we'll go home tab, close and load. That'll create a new sheet in the workbook here with our report and we can send this off to HR. Next, we're gonna help out the sales department by using Power Query instead of VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. So they have some sales data here in this table and they want to bring in the rep name from this table. And all that's matching is the rep ID column here between the two tables. So what we're first gonna do is go over to the reps table here and we're just gonna load this into Power Query. So I'm gonna hit from table or range and we're not gonna make any transformations. On the close and load uh, dropdown, I'm gonna choose close and load two. And then here we're gonna choose only create connection because we don't need to output another table and hit okay. So that's loaded our data up into Power Query. We can see it over here. Then we'll jump over to the orders table. Same thing here, we'll go from table or range. And then to do this lookup, we're going to use a feature of Power Query called merge. And it's right here on the home tab, merge query. So we'll click that. And we want to match this rep ID column with our rep table here. And once we select that, we'll see all the columns for the rep table with this ID column. So these are the two matching columns. This is going to do what's called a left outer join, which will return all the rows from the first table and the matching rows from the second table. And you can see we have 967 matches. So we'll say, okay, now that's going to add a new column here. And if we click this expand button, we can expand out and bring in any of those columns from that lookup table. In this case here, maybe I just want the full name and email address. I'm gonna uncheck this and hit okay. And there are, are the results right there. So essentially this has done a lookup for us without having to write any formulas. We'll go to the home tab, close and load to create that new sheet in the workbook. And again, this is great because we fully automated this process. We don't have any lookup formulas that can break. And if we need to add new data to the source, we can do that and then just right click, refresh the query to bring in the new data. And finally, we're gonna help out the marketing department with one of my favorite features of Power Query. So they have this data here that's really in a report style layout with months across the top, and they wanna analyze it further. And this layout isn't great for analyzing data. So let's take a look at using Power Query to transform this. We'll go to the data tab of the ribbon. We're gonna choose from table or range. And what we need to do is get all of these values into one single column and then add an additional column with the month name. And that will make this a long skinny table, which is easier to analyze. And fortunately with Power Query, we can really do this with just one click. So I'm just gonna select the first column here for the month with the January column, scroll over to the right, hold shift to select all the way to the December column to select all those columns. Then on the transform tab here, we're gonna just gonna click unpivot columns. And that's essentially, again, going to create this attribute column with our month. I'll just double click and rename that. And then we have the value column here. So all of those cells are now in one column. These are leads, we can hit enter. And then we can again, home tab, close and load. That creates the new sheet in the workbook here. And again, with this layout, we can now use pivot tables or formulas to analyze this data and even filter it down. So today we really just scratched the surface of what Power Query can do to streamline your data tasks, making them faster, more accurate, and a lot less tedious. If you're ready to learn more, then check out our Power Query Pro course. It's a comprehensive journey from beginner to pro filled with over 70 real world lessons and backed by our supportive team that's ready to help you out. I'll put a link to that in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And then check out this next video if you wanna see some more Power Query magic. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.